Hello everyone. Today I want to show you my 18 pieces three phase mod stack. It's really a monster. So this is the part. As you can see, there are three levels. It's a three phase thing. So here that runs with phase one, phase two, phase two, phase three, phase one, phase three. And as you can see, every level has a full bridge rectifier. So in the end, on this side here, I have uh, a DC output. Here you can read the, uh, the amperage and the, the voltage. Here is the power in. Yeah, let's try it out. So now I powered on the device and as you can see here, I have about 4.5 kilovolt on the output. And currently I'm not doing anything, so the amperage is still zero, which is okay. And why 4.5 kilovolt? Because on this uh, on the secondary side, I always um, connected two of these microwave oven transformers in series, because normally they are having something like two kilovolt or 2.2, something like that. So now we are going to make some some sparks. It's incredible bright. Yeah, when I draw an arc, the amperage goes up to about 15 ampere. You can try it out. Maybe I can do it while filming. So now I'm going to explain the schematic of the whole thing. And as you can see here, uh, I have these three levels. They are basically all the same. Uh, just this one uses phase one and phase two. This one uses phase two and phase three. And this one uses phase one and phase three. Uh, just to mention, uh, the voltage between phase one and phase two, and doesn't matter, phase two, phase three, and so on is 400 volt and now uh, let's check out uh, how the primary sites and the secondary sites are uh, wired up so i connected basically in series the primary side as well as also the secondary side why because uh, these transformers are made for 230 volt so between phase one and phase two, they are 400 volt. That means the transformers would uh, get destroyed by over voltage. But when I wire two of the transformers in, in series, then one transformer just sees uh, 
200 volt, which is perfectly suitable for operation. And in order to get the double voltage, I also switched the um, secondary sides of the transformers in, in series. Um, it is very important to, to say here that normally at the microwave oven transformers one side of um, the secondary is grounded. That means it's connected to the, um, uh, to the iron uh, core of the transformer. This has to be removed. And additionally, you know, so this is basically one, one block here and these, these blocks, they are uh, switched also in, in parallel here. So basically on one level, um, this one block generates 4.5 kilovolt and we have two more in parallel to increase the, the current. And the output is basically um, directed to a full wave rectifier. The full wave rectifier consists out of um, out of diodes that are normally uh, found in in microwave ovens. And uh, one of these full wave rectifiers consists out of uh, twenty eight diodes. And uh, the output is basically directed into a high voltage bus um, where it can be used for whatever. So this is done on each level and um, yeah, that's how it, how it goes. <laughs>